Hi guys, in this video I am going to discuss about command task. So the definition is, uh, you can specify one or more cell commands to run during the workflow with the command task. For example, you can uh, specify a cell command in the command task to delete result files, copy of files, archive target files. So in this video I will discuss about copy of files. And uh, use a command or task in following ways. First is astrand alum command task. So at here use a command task anywhere in the workflow or work click to run the cell command. And a second a pre and post or session or cell command. So you can call a command or task as a pre and post session cell command for a session task. So at here use any valid Unix command or a cell command for Unix server or any or DOS or batch files Windows server. For example, you might uh, use a cell command to a copy a file from uh, one uh, directory to another. For example, Windows Server, you would use the following cell command to copy a cell sales underscore adz from the source directory L to the target directory H. So right here, this is a Unix command copy and uh, this is a, a source This is a source directory and the file names are sales underscore edison. So I'm going to copy in H drive and marketing folder. So this example uh, I will discuss and uh, add here. If you are using for Unix server, use, you have to use uh, OCP and sales or uh, sales store sales underscore edison that will go to the marketing. And at here, use parameter variable. This is all definition. And at here, or uh, creating a command task. So this is all the steps to create the command task. So you read all the definition. Now I will I will give three examples of using command task. So let's see one by one. For example, I am going to show you the use of command task. So first way to create a command task or uh, let's uh, click our task tab and after create so at here uh, uh, select the task tab to create so I'm going to create command task there are so many tasks so now I'm going to create command task and at here give the meaningful name m underscore command underscore task and now create uh, click on create button and after done so double click add there so this is the uh, first tab general so add here uh, select tab select task m underscore command underscore task and task tab command add here if you enable or uh, if you click on checkbox make reusable so that will uh, created as a reusable description that is optional part and resources this is also optional part next is properties so right here oh uh, this is uh, a fail task if any command fail so in down there is a description when you select the option the power center integration service stop running the command and fail the command task so if you enable that uh, uh, that checkbox then or uh, that uh, property will uh, happen the power center integration service stop the running command and fail the command task and uh, next is recovery strategy fair task and continue workflow so this is also optional part either you can use or not and now let's go to command or tab so right here you can add the command so i'm going to add two command so right here first so in this uh, oh, this time I'm going to start the workflow by using command task with the help of pncmd command. 
So uh, let's find where is the PM7D command. So I have C drive informatica folder, 9.5.1 folder, and after server. And next go to bin folder. So here you get the PM7D command. So PMCMD command is there. So let's copy the location oh. and use a CD to change the directory and paste the uh, location. And here after for command two. So now I'm going to copy. Oh sorry, I'm going to start the workflow. So copy the command. So right here PMCMD that is command start workflow. SV means service int that is integration service name or D is for or domain or name and U that is a user or name and P administrator or that is password and F folder. So my folder DW underscore dev. So I'm going to start the workflow WF underscore assigning. So write it there, wm underscore assigning. And now click on OK. So domain name, that is my domain name, domain underscore bin underscore or uh, slash there is alphanumeric characters there u for username and p for password f folder name and wf underscore assigning workflow name so let's click on ok apply ok and establish the link by using link task and or uh, save the workflow workflow uh, valid now click on uh, start the workflow so workflow gets succeeded and uh, now so first time workflow is now running and uh, a uh, session uh, succeeded and now command task is running so right here command task running and uh, now that command task start the workflow wf underscore assigning so wf underscore assigning is running command task succeeded So uh, wf underscore assigning to a uh, session is there. So first get succeeded and now second is one. Second also get succeeded. So all get succeeded. So let's see the details of uh, wf underscore assigning uh, workflow. So there two uh, session is there. So let's uh, uh, check one more time. So first uh, uh, workflow wf underscore m underscore complex underscore mapping is in running a state and session also. So first uh, session uh, will succeed it. And now next uh, that will go to the command task. Command task is in running a state. So command task start the uh, workflow wf underscore assigning. So command task get succeeded and now workflow uh, wf underscore assigning running and get succeeded. So this example I discuss about how to start workflow by using command task. Uh, so now I'm going to give a second example of command task. So this time uh, you click uh, there 
and drag the command task or double click and here after at this location you can add the command i'm going to stop the workflow so at here use pmcmd and uh, at there only change a stop workflow and now click on ok so i'm going to uh, stop uh, the workflow so let's uh, edit and copy that workflow and uh, paste it here so at your pmcmd is command stop workflow sv for service int integration service name d domain name u username uh, p password f4 folder and next workflow name so i am going to stop the workflow wf underscore m underscore complex underscore mapping so now let's click on ok and here after apply ok and stabilize the link by using link task and or save the workflow and now right click and click on start the workflow so add your um, workflow wf underscore m underscore complex mapping is in running state and session also is in running state so session gets succeeded next to command come to m underscore command underscore task that is running so that uh, command uh, start the workflow wf underscore assigning and now next uh, uh, command uh, trigger so that command used to uh, stop the workflow so at here i give i have given the code to uh, stop the workflow wf m underscore complex underscore mapping so look at the workflow gets stopped and command get succeeded so this way this, this video i discuss about how to stop workflow and uh, next i will discuss one more command so add here in c drive emp underscore tct file is there so that file i am going to uh, paste into the file or uh, folder file so there is uh, this folder is empty so at this location I am going to paste so let's go to workflow and add here go to component So first I am going to uh, uh, show you uh, the output file directory is in C drive and for TCT1 output file directory is in C drive. So now uh, double click in session and go to components tab and add here uh, three tabs first is none reusable none reusable. Reusable means one time or create and many times use. Non reusable or uh, that will not reusable in may others or session. So let's uh, use, I'm going to use non reusable and add to uh, here give the value. So first to uh, add the add a new command and add here give the name of uh, command. So this is I'm using for copy and uh, command at here. First, try to uh, copy that is un Unix command and uh, in C drive. Or uh, this is the files. So this files I'm going to copy into a file folder so let's uh, uh, copy this rename and control c and paste it here 
uh, so the file type is uh, look at the type out file so at your Uh, so at here give the extension dot out and uh, next so I will now uh, paste uh, this file into C drive and a file folder so this time there is no any files and uh, write a uh, C drive file and now press ok apply ok and save the workflow workflow is valid and start the workflow So our session uh, is s underscore m underscore complex mapping and workflow wf underscore m underscore complex underscore mapping. So all get succeeded. Now let's the see let's see the uh, file folder. So look at the file copy it and record comes successfully.